first question uh, that came in this last week was Google reviews. How can I get more of them and how can I maximize the benefit? Actually, David, who's in the uh, things now, him and his wife have done a great job of getting a lot of Google reviews for their company. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a crack on a couple of different things you can do. First of all, as I would say, to be consistent and have a protocol in place to ask for Google reviews. Whether that's something you have in your shop, like a QR code somebody can scan that takes them right to your Google review page. Uh, whether you follow up with an email asking for a Google review, if they're happy with the service that pro they provided. Whatever the case is, have a system in place to gather Google reviews. Don't just hope that somebody's going to be so happy with your service that they're going to voluntarily seek out your Google page and leave you a review. You have to remove any friction from the, the process. You have to take them right to your page. You have to send them either an email with a link, give them a QR code they can scan at the time they're checking out at your shop or something like that. But you have to make it frictionless. You have to, if they're, if they're going to, unless they really are just super enamored with your service, they're typically not going to jump through hoops to leave you a good Google review. So you have to make it easy for them to do that uh, by taking them right to the page and making it very easy for them to do that. The second thing, as far as this question is, how can I get more reviews? I think that's pretty straightforward. One of the things I just said is, you know, try to create a situation to ask people for Google reviews. Real quick, I'm going to sidebar here and just say um, there are a lot of different places you can get reviews. You can get reviews on Facebook. You can get reviews on Yelp. You can get reviews on Google, as we're talking about right now. Um, so, what you know, is there a preference? Is there a difference? I happen to believe, this is my personal belief, that you're always better to gather a Google review versus the other reviews. Now, if somebody leaves you a review on Facebook, leaves you a review on Yelp, you're certainly not going to turn those reviews down. Um, it's, it's always better to have a review. But if you have a preference of where you're really going to try to pull reviews from, I would typically say that I would rather have a Google review than anything. And the reason is that the Google review actually plays in in, in a way into the Google SEO algorithm and where your company is going to show up with regard to Google ranking. Now, Google doesn't tell us exactly how that all works. However, there's been a lot of research that has been done that show that companies that have a lot of reviews that are positive reviews in general tend to show up better on Google, all other things being equal. If they have a lot of reviews that are good reviews, they will tend to show up higher than companies without reviews. So because of not only the fact that you get a good review, but the fact that it has a secondary benefit in the form of search engine optimization, I would always recommend a Google review. Now, once you have a review, is there a way that you could do things to maximize that? One of the things I would say that Google loves is when people interact and use the platform. So what I try to say to people is take time once a week. You don't have to do it every day, once a week, once every other week. Go into your Google review page and respond to the positive reviews or the negative reviews for that matter. If somebody has left you a review, take a moment to say, hey, thank you for the kind words. Um, we appreciate your business and your great review. If it's a negative review, maybe say, hey, sorry you feel that way. What, what, maybe we should connect so we can figure out a way to, uh, to satisfy you with this transaction. Whatever the case may be, respond to the review. Google likes to see that companies are interacting with other companies that are leaving them a review. So if you get reviews, I would go in there and you don't have to write a paragraph, but a sentence, two sentences, maybe respond to the review. I think that's going to help you get the most out of your reviews. It's going to, if people are looking at your reviews, it speaks a lot about your company that you're going in there and thanking people or responding to a negative review. So it gets you the most uh, benefit. Also, a couple of people in the comments are mentioning something about TintWiz, which is kind of a CRM that's used specifically in the window film industry. There's The nice thing about that is it makes it really easy once you complete a job to send out something to request a review. I think any tool like that, like TintWiz or other CRM programs that you can utilize to automate the system of trying to collect reviews is a positive thing. Because here's the thing. When you're asking for something like this, you're not going to get 100% participation. It's just not going to happen. 
So you have to be, yeah, it's a numbers game. If you ask for 10, if you ask 10 people for a review, you may get one or two reviews. If you ask a hundred people for a review, you may get seven to 10 reviews. So again, the reality is it's a numbers game. You're not going to get a hundred percent of the people that do business with you to leave you a review. But if you consistently ask, if you're consistent in the process of asking for reviews, you stand a good chance of weekly, monthly, you're going to continue to see your reviews rise. So thank you guys for chiming in on that. I absolutely love that idea of with TintWiz or any other tool like a CRM in another industry or whatever to automate that process because, uh, it just, you know, to remember to do it is one thing. To have it automated, take advantage of technology is all that much better. So Tim says, I always respond, but I try not to say the same thing all the time. And that's hard when you have so many reviews. I agree, Tim. Uh, it's definitely, it definitely can be difficult. Uh, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly to not say the same thing every time and seem like it's some sort of automated bot. But, uh, you know, again, it doesn't have to be you know, a simple thank you for the great review or something along those lines is going to just, it's an acknowledgement that somebody's taking the time to leave you a review. The least you could do is leave a response or a reply to their review when they've taken the time to leave you a review. So again, I always try to tell people, try not to overthink it. Don't try to send a bunch of sentences, you know, maybe even comment if you know, if you remember the project, maybe comment about something about it. Let's say it's an automotive project, say, Hey, Tim, thanks for uh, the great review. We really enjoyed working on your uh, 2015 Corvette or whatever the case may be. That way you can make it different. You can make it personalized without having to uh, without having to say the same thing all the time, but without also having to send, you know, write three or four sentences. 